Yeah, I need a pair of sunglasses ASAP. Fuck! Jeez. Welcome to Lao. I heard the roads were shit. And, uh, they're shit. Let me fill you in on what's happening here. Basically, I had a couple days to spend in Luang Prabang before heading up north, and I heard about this cave with 4,000 Buddha statues. So I decided to make a day trip out of it and take you guys with me. Jeez. Okay, I stopped at a gas station because I have to pee and I want to find a pair of sunglasses. So check out these toilets. Imagine taking a shit in here. Hello. <laughs> oh, playing soccer, football. Do you have sunglasses? Glasses? Here? Like, glasses? Do you have here? Like, uh, sunglasses for eyes. You know? No? No? Okay. Kick it. Good, bye bye. No sunglasses, but uh, probably an eight year old kid working there. Played some little soccer with him, some football. Just driving by this little roadside stand, and they have my new favorite fruit, so I'm gonna grab some. Hello. Can I get one? <laughs> It's a nice little roadside stand on my bike sitting there. Wow, look at these jackfruit. Big, big jackfruit. Pretty sure I got ripped off. I was given the foreigner price, I'm almost positive. And also these ones look different than the ones I got yesterday, so. It's called the long gone, I believe is how you say it. It's in the lychee family. If you've ever been to Hawaii, you've had lychee, but these ones don't look as ripe. I, I might have got totally ripped off. Let's see. Let's give it a go. Mm. There's a seed. Mm. They're pretty good. Yeah, they, they're, they just look a little different than the ones I got yesterday, but fuck, they're damn good. But yeah, I haven't seen a single other tourist on this entire drive for the last 30 minutes. And everybody looks at me. Like, what is this bearded white guy doing on a bike riding through Laos? It's gonna be even crazier when I ride 10 hours north of here. I can't imagine what the roads are gonna be like. I'm gonna have to get a different bike, something more durable, and uh, a pair of sunglasses as well. I'm running out of room in my bike. Let's see if we can fit our long gons in here. I think I'm saying it right, long gone. Let me know in the comments if I'm fucking that up. I don't know if you can fuck that word up though. It just seems pretty simple. All right. 17 minutes, let's go. Okay, so we've gotten completely out of the city, out of the industrial area, which was hellish. And we're in the countryside. It's very nice, very beautiful. All right, so I'm on the side of the road. Now I'm stoned and eating a couple long gones. I really hope I'm saying that right and I don't sound like a complete fucking idiot, but what about this view? The Mekong River. 
Cheers. Mmm. So good. Mushrooms growing in their shit. This? Okay. <laughs> I hired this guy to take me across the river. Little did I know he would end up being the highlight of the trip. Okay, I guess I'm the only one on the boat. This nice man's gonna take me. You go, me? Okay. Okay. I wonder if he's gonna use his motor or if he's just gonna paddle. This landscape is pretty unbelievable though. I've never seen mountains like this. Maybe Hawaii, but it's so unique. Thank you. <laughs> Loud motor. I think this is the cave. Look at that delivery. Okay, thank you. All right. We have made it to the cave. What a journey. All right, here we go. Uh, so far, there's people trying to sell me things. Hopefully we'll see a Buddha soon. All right, so I'm heading to the upper cave first because that's just the way I came from what I was reading. The upper cave has less people. Uh, but also less Buddhas. So let's go check it out and then we'll go to the lower. Whew. It's a bit of a hike. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, this is the upper cave. Big Buddha. Okay. So far one out of 4,000 Buddha. I'm gonna get out my phone light for this. I found the rest of the Buddhas. Not the rest, there's a lot more, but. Wow. That's a lot of Buddhas. Just wait. Boom! Look at that. So from what I was reading, the cave here predates Buddhism. So it's a very ancient cave and an active place of worship. Wow. Crazy vibes in here, guys. So this is just the upper level. I haven't even been to the lower level, which is where most of them are. I'd say there's probably 500 Buddhas up here. And I guess there's another 3,500 down there, so we'll check it out. Ooh, this one's crooked. Should we fix it? Oh, no, it looks broken. 
They're burning something here, some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, incense or candle or something. You made it. I did. <laughs> I survived. Oh yeah, they're burning some kind of candles here. Okay, well, there's the upper level. I, I came a long way for this, so. Um, hopefully the lower level has uh, something cool to show you guys. <laughs> All right, well, that was interesting. <laughs> it was very cool. Um, it's a big journey to get here. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I'm happy I came and we're not even, we're not even done. We got uh, the lower level where, where most of the Buddhas are, but that's where also all the kids asking for money are. So I got a couple small bills prepared to give to them if, uh, if the vibe seems right. Okay, the long awaited infamous lower level. Oh shit, there's a lot more Buddhas. God damn. Hey everyone, just got out of the shower, so I figured while I'm half naked, this is a good opportunity to tell you about today's sponsor, NADS. NADS makes organic cotton underwear, totally free from synthetic chemicals that are damaging your health and zapping your testosterone. They're also extremely comfortable. They have multiple different styles as well. These white ones are my personal favorite. They're a bit more loose. Very soft. I wear these as like little shorts if I'm just like gonna go to the coffee shop, gonna run in a store. Like check out how it looks with a shirt, for example, right? You got your, you got your nads on, totally comfortable, totally safe from synthetic chemicals leaching into your scrotum and ass. Throw on a shirt. I mean, this is fucking, this is nightclub material right here. It's definitely coffee shop material and definitely a quick grocery store run material. I do just about everything in them, to be honest. So thank you to NADS for sponsoring today's video. And if you would like to get yourself some NADS, you can check the description, save a little bit of money by using my code. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get back to the video. Wow. A lot of little Buddhas. It's a great shot <laughs> with the water. Let's see where this little <laughs> section goes. Here it ends. It ends? <laughs> I think I think so. <laughs> you can try if you like. Maybe you'll find the, the way. Pink Floyd? <laughs> you like Pink Floyd? Yes. Oh yeah. Wonderful music. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Oh. It's a nice little spot. Be a good place to spark up a joint. Yeah. Looks like certain death though. Especially with a jacked up hand. Alright, let's see what's back down here. Okay, up the stairs. Where there's now there's a lot of Buddhas. I mean, this is enough Buddhas for 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 one person to see in a whole lifetime. Wow. They're all the way up there, in the dark, everywhere. It's essentially a Buddha graveyard. Wow. These caves are unreal. It's kind of dark, so I don't know how good you guys can see this shit, but it's pretty cool. 
the thing is, it's like, you know, it's filled with people. It's not really like a chill place that you can like meditate or anything like that. But worth the experience. The little man who gave me the boat ride is the highlight so far. And there you have it. That's the, uh, the cave of 4,000 Buddhas. Is it worth visiting? I don't know. You tell me. I made this video so you don't have to come. Oh wow, very pretty. I'll, I'll buy one. Thank you. It's just one. Thank you, thank you. Little bracelet. Support the hustle. And now we catch a boat back across. I'm sweating in my nice shirt. Ah, from that fucking hike. That was, that was epic. I think this will fit my wrist. Let's see. Maybe put it on my ankle. Good anklet. All right, let's see if we can get this thing on my ankle. <laughs> I'm gonna try here. <laughs> ah, too small. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. From the kids, supporting the hustle. A guy. <laughs> Back to the other side of the river we go. A nice little journey into the Buddha cave. We have arrived. What a smooth landing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, what a journey. I went to the Buddha cave, so you don't have to. Go if you want, but yeah, <laughs> you saw it. Um, anyway, got an hour drive back to the city. I'm absolutely starving. I need to get some food in me, some fried rice, some spicy beef or something. I'm gonna burn another one and uh, call it a day for the vlogs. Thank you for the vlog not vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned because the Asia series is pretty much just getting started. A lot more where this came from. Check out my Thailand vlogs if you have not already and subscribe. Give me a like, show me some love. Make sure to tune in on Instagram and TikTok as well. TikTok's lame actually, fuck TikTok. Tune in on IG, stay subscribed here on uh, YouTube. That's all you gotta do. Appreciate you guys. See ya.